Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I have the AXA tool post mounted on the lathe. That lets me mount carbide tools and it lets me mount these big carbide tools that I have stuck in the box that I haven't been able to use for years. What I want to do though is I want to sharpen these tools up. Now I ground them down. I used the round wheel on the big grinder over here and I was able to knock down the edges and get them so that they would cut, but they weren't really cutting well. I expected them to actually go through and slice. Uh, carbide bits quite often are more scrapers than they are slicing tools, but they should do a good smooth job as you're going across the part. And I couldn't get that to, to work with this set of tools doing the way I was doing. So what I thought I would do, I thought I'd take my diamond plate, and this one is a multiple uh, surface block. It's 200, 300, 400, and 600. Probably could take it higher than that, but I think for the purposes of this test, 600 is going to be plenty. So I'm going to dress down the, the bit and try it in the lathe and see what happens. This is a 200 grit stone. And I'm going to use that to try and bring this carbide to a reasonable configuration. First, I'm going to turn this stone so I can get to it a little bit. There we go. I've ground the angles on it so that the angles are semi where I want them. Now I have to see if I'm actually doing anything. Well, I'm definitely flattening off the steel part of it. Looks like it's cutting it. Well, we're working away the bottom of it. We're really not getting too much into the carbide, but I'm starting to flatten that a bit. On a production shop, doing this would be a waste of time. They would have some nice diamond wheels and would go after this thing with a vengeance. I don't know if you can see this really clearly or not. That is the line of the carbide right there. See how that carbide has got a thickness to it? And the carbide is actually a line right there. There's a break point right here. This is where I'm cutting it away with the diamond, and that's the edge that hasn't been touched yet. So I got a ways to go. But it is working. I think if I used a rough wheel 
to bring it down close to where I want it. And then left the edge so that when I went after it with this diamond plate, all I was going to have to do is just take the edge down a bit. I think I could do this fairly quickly. because I really just want to hone it. Right now I'm actually shaping the edge, which is more work than I really want to do. Ah, but I can see that I'm actually taking some off. That corner's almost up to the surface. Now that chip in there is going to stay because I'm not going to grind it down that far. My little lathe can't hold an edge that big in a piece of steel anyways. We're gaining. Slow but sure. Oh yeah. Now we're making a difference. Now I can see that the line of the carbide is right there. And there is the part that I still have to cut away. When I get this kind of surface all the way up to that edge, I'll have it. But I'm hoping that if I get this edge sharp, I will reduce the amount of effort that my little nine inch lathe has to put into a job in order to make a cut. So I should be able to remove more material and my light cuts should cut smoother. It's an awful lot like die polishing. I spent an inordinate amount of time doing that when I was an apprentice. I actually started out pretty much the same kind of motion. Back and forth with a file, back and forth with an oil stone, finally take a buffing wheel to it and polish it up. Now we just got a whisker to go.
Okay. Perfect. Now oh, we should be able to get by with just a few passes on the finer grits. Let's see how it cuts. Looks pretty good. Bring it down to here. Taking a tiny little skim cut. Look at how good that surface is. So much better than what it was prior to that. I think we have a winner. Until I come up with a diamond wheel, I'm going to be dressing these carbide stones with a diamond plate. That was quite a bit of work, but it was successful. We ended up with a nice smooth surface on the uh, steel and the cutter looks like it's going to hold up a lot better because it was slicing. It's actually hissing as we're going along. Not, none of that chunk and clatter and, and clunking as it was going through the steel. So I think we have a successful process. Hopefully I'll be able to get a green wheel. The green wheel will let me dress down the carbides much quicker. Uh, this method worked but it took almost an hour to dress the stone down from a rough shape. Uh, Greenwood would let me uh, 
build the edge up and then just hone it with a diamond plate. I could buy a diamond wheel, but diamond wheels are expensive. Uh, I'd need a separate grinder to put it on because it, then I would have to either be switching back and forth and then redressing the grinding wheel all the time, which would take the diamond wheel pretty quickly, and that's an expensive operation. So I don't want to buy another grinder, and I want to have another grinder in the basement. I think doing it this way is going to get me by. In old Steelox workshop, success is its own reward. Thanks for watching. here again. Thanks for watching. Have you subscribed yet? If you enjoyed the video, please take a moment and click the thumbs up.